All right, we got TV here with a solid tarpon. Yep. All right, guys, what is going on? Good morning, so cash fishing here. We got my brother behind me in the other Old Town kayak. We're out here in Flamingo early, early in the morning. 6.40, right, 6.40? Yep. 6.40 a.m., we haven't made first cast yet, but we're kind of heading down towards some fishy areas, hopefully, so stay tuned. Uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty dark out still. I don't know what type of footage we're gonna get, but that first bite is priceless. Let's get it. All right, guys, as you know, if you fished Flamingo, there's mosquitoes. So uh, thankfully, this is right at the end of December and they are not that bad. But of course, when you start getting closer to these mangroves and start fishing the mangroves over here, you start getting, uh, getting some heat on you, to say the least. If you've never fished in Flamingo or you never visited Flamingo, then, well, I urge you to be prepared. I didn't do my morning stretches, Jesus. Oh, my shoulder, my, my hands are cramping up already. And we are just getting started. That's a snook. That was the first uh, first snook right there. Missed the hook. But that is the best sound ever. It's like doo. Right this is like a top water. It's called a skitter walk. And it's uh, basically like a mullet, you know, like on top of the water. It makes a lot of noise. All right, first snook for my brother. Good morning. Got, got the, the skunk off here and we're gonna let him go. Okay, After picture, After picture, right? You want a picture? Yeah. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! What you got? Let me throw it in. Hook came out. That was big, huh? That was big. You didn't hear the snap? No, I just saw. I saw. Yeah. Not the lure. The lure is fine. I think the line is all chewed up. Oh, okay. Looks like snook. A second before, or the, the cast before, I got the, you know, like weeds and felt like a, like those weeds. I wasn't sure what this one was. And then it just, this weeds pulled me back. <laughs> it looked like a good fish. I saw, I saw the rod like way bent over. Uh -huh. Close the bell. All right, we gotta go. Let's go. Uh, Let's get after. We're going to where the pelicans are. Nice trout! TV! Right there behind you! There's a bunch of fish going crazy! No. That's a nice fish. GoPro, start recording. No! There it is. Yeah, fish? If you need to use your net, use your net. Oh, it's a tarpon! <laughs> I thought it was a tarpon! <laughs> 
All right, we got TV here with a solid tarpon. Yep. <laughs> Just nice and easy. Don't put too much pressure. Just tire, tire him up. That's hilarious. Wow. <laughs> School tarpon. Oh, yes. <laughs> Soak it in, soak it in. <laughs> it's a nice little work vacation, huh? Hooked up to a tarpon on a 2,500 size reel. <laughs> oh my God. That's incredible. Just always stay tight. There's really not much you could do because it's, it's a big fish on a small rod. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god nice <laughs> oh yeah he's actually jumped quite a bit okay so the trick with tarpon is when they when they want to swim left you kind of have to push them to the right so have the rod down low and when he gets a little more tired out, I'm gonna start putting on gloves in case we're able to actually land him. One more time, buddy. Remember, don't don't bring him too close. Let him let him let him out. And around up and around the kayak. Wow, what a scenery. <laughs> Got a huge fish. I can't believe he's still on. That's a solid tarpon. Let's see if he jumps one more time. Try to pull him to the right a little more. Nah, he's, he's not. He's not, hold on, let me turn. Oh, he's in a weird spot. It's like right underneath. Oh, there you go. Good. It's nice and easy. Tarpon time. I brought a rod for tarpon too, but I didn't think we were gonna be in them like that. <laughs> there you go. Biggest fish of your life. Huh? Oh yeah. You got it? Yeah. Not much uh, more epic things than a, than a solid tarpon on a kayak. Big tarpon. There you go, use the kayak. Good, good, good. Try not to put too much pressure on him, okay? It's a finesse thing here. This is as finesse, finesse as it can get, right? <laughs> What's going on? Hands are tired. <laughs> thing it's so murky that you can't see which way he's facing yeah i mean 30 pound liter is nothing for a tarpon and the hook that hook can get straightened out on a fish like this easy you've been fighting it for a little over five minutes <laughs> look at that little rod <laughs> The little rod that could. There you go. Good. Normally these things, especially on the beach, they have so much more oxygen in the water. These things go insane. 
feel the bite. I'm like, I feel the bite. I'm like, that's weird. Like, that's probably what you had on earlier too. Well, no, could be. I mean, I hooked one just before you. That was definitely a tarpon. Um, I'm in the danger zone right here, the splash zone. Let's see if anything happens. <laughs> Yeah, he's swimming along. That's that's swimming along right by you. Oh, oh, I'm in a bad bad area. I'm in a really bad area. Keep going. Good. Over the kayak. Over the front of the kayak. <laughs> oh, that was close. <laughs> yep. There you go. As soon as, try not to let him get oxygen, because if he gets oxygen, he's... <clears throat> God dang. Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Solid tarpon on the kayak. TV. <sighs> Fight it as long as you want. See, now, now is when you got to try to turn him left. So as as smooth as possible. Yep. Don't get any closer than that. Look at him. Look at him. Big target. Nice one. Nice one. I can't believe it. How is that not snapped? <laughs> now he's going to go. He's going to go a little bit probably. There you go. Try to, try to keep him... Down and low to the right. Hell yes. TV's first tarpon. First tarpon you ever hooked, that's for sure, right? Doing great. Tame the beast. I'm surprised he hasn't come up for air yet. Because usually that's when they take a gulp of air and then they get another like 10 minutes of fight. Oh, he did a few times. That you saw, well, jumping gets some air, that's for sure. He jumped a lot, this guy. Yep, 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 let him go, let him go, let him go. If he wants to go, let him go. There you go, slowly, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that depletes some of oxygen right there. You see that? That's... Lactic acid built up in a system right there. Not yet. I really. How long? <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's a big fish, TV. <laughs> it's a big fish. Okay. There you go. Done. That's it. That's why, I mean. <laughs> Not too many people have done that. Let's see this line. I can't believe this didn't break. Let me see. Okay, so this is tarpon juice. That's what they call it. Hey, not bad. Seaguar. Look at the hook. Not bad. This had to have, what, 40 pounds in That fish? Yeah. No, that's over 40. Easy. <laughs> Way over 40. <laughs> and look, I put a long leader for you. That worked out real nice. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, after that epic tarpon uh, catch by my brother, I kind of did a bad job about recording or talking to the camera and explaining like the day and as it's going by. So uh, I'm going to start jumping in on the voiceover action here. I switched over to a large DOA shrimp and I started working the channel on the bottom trying to 
target these tarpon that were rolling actually quite often. I was marking them on side scan, etc. So here I'm using a larger DOA shrimp. So I'm letting this shrimp fall all the way to the bottom and I'm working it in a pretty fast and erratic motion. Uh, just kind of jerking it along there and sure enough, I get hooked up. Oh, no way. But unfortunately, as I bring it boat side, it just spits the hook and we do not get a good view on that fish. Jump to the next scene, start spooking a lot of fish on the bottom here. Believe I, I gave up on the tarpon fishing, so. No, I just spooked really big fish right here. That previous snook actually destroyed my only larger DOA shrimp that I brought with me. It seems like they're right so here. So like we switched over back to the three inch swim bait, the DOA Cal swim bait with a trout eyes jig head. That's kind of my go to. I usually give oh that to all my clients between that and the DOA oh, shrimp, shoot. the smaller ones. And here we get a really good fight from this, this is not a snook, <laughs> I believe. The snook absolutely hammered this bait. Easy with the net and hook, line, and sinker. Holy we land this fish. This is some good snook fishing, TV. This is some, some pretty good stuff right here. <sighs> barely hooked. Absolutely barely hooked. Okay. He's a little bigger. Good old uh, flamingo snook. They get much bigger, obviously, but uh, nice and silver. Nice lateral line. Hit it like a freight train, too. Oh, my God. Me, too. And mine's a trout. What is yours? <laughs> All right. So what you right got? here, me and my brother doubled up. And nice one fish. of his, like he talked he about this all day. Up. And one of his favorite uh, eating fish is trout. So Damn, we did catch a few trout today. But um, I believe none of them were keepers. I think the first trout I caught was about 16 inches. Holy but shit. due to the, the tarpon and all that craziness that was going on earlier, I threw it back and decided to let it live. So, uh, But what I want you to look at right here is this, this net that I have and how important it is to have it ready at all times. Uh, you can easily land your fish uh, within seconds and right when it, you Go know, start recording. you're bringing it towards yourself. So here I am going over to my brother and seeing what's up with him. Is he under the boat? Dee, no. what do you have? Something white. Oh, it's a jack. Nice. There you go. Okay, nice jack. <laughs> He's not gonna make it. Oh. No. No. Under. TV, don't be so sad, okay? Don't be so sad. Samsung, strike recording. Can I have the hook the This is a keeper? No. No. We don't we don't keep jacks. Sounds exactly right. We don't keep jack. Jack shit. I was surprised this was a trout though. Uh, you see this current here? Yeah. That's 
All right. So that was aiming for. Yeah, the jacks and the tarpons like to stay a little deeper. Okay, this guy's gonna bite me or no? No, oh, but no, you. It's, it's empty. You can always grab them by the gill. Stick your finger in the gill, or just try to, you know. Take a picture. I will. Let's take a picture first. Nice. This bait, I'm telling you. This lure? Yeah. Uh, if I only had one bait to choose to throw all day, it'd be this one. Because it's not that tiring to throw, like the top water that I was throwing earlier. You can only do that for so long. Like physically, you're going to get completely worn out. Plus, like this bait has scents. It has scent in it. Right? And like, you know, I got this color. But these are my favorite. These are my absolute favorites. During the pandemic, these were kind of hard to come by. I went to uh, Fort Myers Bass Pro Shops and I found like about three packs of these. I bought every single one. Every single one. Huh? My line is switching. How do you release this? Your line? Is what? It's with you. Oh. How do you? Just uh, break it in half. Like, no, no, all the way. Yeah. <laughs> Watch, watch my magic. Break it in Literally half. breaks it. <laughs> you scared the shit out of me. What was it? The manatee. The manatee. Oh, yeah, yeah. They come up right, right here next to us. They're curious. What a day, huh? <laughs> you just never know. What is that on? I took one from you. Hmm? Hey, buddy. <laughs> this is a, this is a baby, baby one. Not in a good location. You never know what you're gonna see on a day out on a kayak. Look at this. Nom nom nom. Well, after that snook, I started recording once again, just the cast I'm making. And real quick, uh, I'm hooking up into this fish. I'm bringing it really quick skiing it back to the kayak and as you can see this is what I was talking about earlier they immediately have the net ready I get the fish in still green Trout! Uh, shout out over, over to my brother letting him know what I just caught trying to keep uh, things excited we did catch a lot of fish this day and you'll see that we'll catch a lot more later on in the video uh, but what I wanted to tell you is that we're basically fishing the transitionary ledge from the flat to the channel going back as the tide's going out. So we're just coasting out, casting along, and both of us are on either side of the channel, and we're both hooking up pretty uh, pretty consistently. Well, guys, just missed it on off camera, but I uh, got a nice, beautiful redfish here, blue tail. He's on the smaller side. We're not gonna keep him, but uh, I just made a random cast over to uh, to my right, and sure enough, he's right there. Gotta let him go. Yeah, I remember just now. Uh, I would I didn't have the camera on, but I, I just kind of feeling that we were in a good spot, and I made this almost over the shoulder cast towards this direction which I actually recently visited. So this is quite a few weeks old now, but I recently visited and the bite ended up being so hot in this one spot in this one ledge. And, and this is on an outgoing Kitty. tide, which is key. And I noticed, this way. Uh, I'm over here next to me. and told my brother, we targeted this area for the next, I don't know, hour or two caught nonstop until that, that water slowed down. The tide slowed down. There's another one. What is this? Snook? Nice one. 
Oh. Oh yeah. Yeah. Whew, man. They're all right here. If I'm hooking up back to back cast, you need to be casting in the same spot. <laughs> that was a hit. Tighten your drag. Huh? Your drag, tighten it. So when I'm fishing in Flamingo, you're going to go through a lot of leader. I'm constantly cutting every time because, I mean, okay, so I'm using 30 pound, 30 pound leader here. And I mean, I'm not like a, every single snook you catch will most likely fray up your line and you do not want to miss that, that one fish that you will, you know, absolutely treasure as a memory. So really got to pay attention to uh to your line your leaders and as you can see it's like back to back casts here i'm not cutting this footage it is pretty incredible oh another snook right in the net lots of snook Closer, right there. Yep. Having a GPS and awareness over where you are uh, in relation to the channel and the flat is so important in this situation. We ended up drifting off of it and I noticed that we just weren't getting any bites. So I zoomed in on the fish finder, got right back to the hot zone and sure enough, here we go. Oh yeah. Up again. Another snooker. Yeah? Oh, yeah. This is a nicer snook here. This is a nicer snook. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. You got, you got oh, easily. It's a thicker one, yeah. For flamingo, yeah. There it is. <laughs> Double up, baby. All right, there we go. A nice soap fish. This is the bigger one. This is the bigger one we caught today. Obviously, snook get a lot bigger than this. But for flamingo standards, this is this is awesome. Beautiful, beautiful snook. And we're gonna let him go. Without the GPS, we would have drifted away from the spot a long time ago. We're on the flat right now, so we're in we're in one 1.5 feet. Oh my god, that's a triple tail. Oh my God, that's a triple tail. Oh my God, look at it. <gasps> really good eating fish. Oh my God. Oh. Come on. Ah! <laughs> 
<laughs> he was just chilling here. <laughs> what the hell is going on today? Oh man. Wow. That black thing? Mm -hmm. I thought it was like a leaf or something. That's what I, I, I saw it too. And look at this. I'm pretty sure this is a keeper triple tail. Wow. DB, what a day. Oh, and you're on. <laughs> what a day. Oh my God. Wow. What is it? Is that a redfish? This is a trout, but man, this has to be a keeper. This is huge. Okay, get him in the net. Get him in the net. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. TV, what is going on today? Where was it in comp? Triple tail trout, redfish snook like crazy, jacks, ladyfish, tarpon. <laughs> See, I'm telling you, the days that you don't plan on coming and show up are the best days. And guys, to top it off, we caught a nice triple tail right next to the kayak. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. I mean, today has been of epic proportions. We caught so many fish. Uh, my brother just caught a first keeper trout as well. So we're going to go home with uh, this triple tail and a trout. Catching that triple tail was actually I mean, super, super short, awesome, like, you know, super epic. And actually, just right. <laughs> this couple right here on his canoe uh have been staying in flamingo for a few days yeah, now i got you guys and they had seen me and He's my right brother here. catching fish so don't hit me please. you know we helped them out i hooked them up with some some lures and some tips and tricks brought them to kind of like the location we're fishing in so just come so that they can like catch their uh, their first -A fish uh, right in, in like florida right as well there, like by the a or something okay Let's move over a little to the left. You see how the water kind of changes like along this way? Yeah, so so try to fish like right here on the long the, along the right side and we'll be off to the left a little bit, all right? Thanks. Welcome. All right. <clears throat> uh oh. There it is. Oh no. <laughs> Tighten the drag a little bit. TV, let's try moving up a little more. Yeah, yeah. As long as we, uh... Cause I wish I was able to see the, the channel, you know, like on the, on the maps, but it, okay. This is the start. This is like the edge of the channel. So it's so weird. It's hard to tell that fish. TV hurry up cast right there. Hurry up, like right now. Cash right in there. No, God damn it. Oh my God. Amateur hour here. I think that was a red, but a, but a nice one. I, my drag was so loose. Oh my God. <sighs> the, what a damn shame, dude. Wow. That thing was pulling drag like crazy.
snook, guys. Yeah, you see, whatever I hooked just now before, I, I think it was off camera, but I messed up. I messed up and got that fish unhooked somehow. <sighs> I don't know why, but some of these hooks are just not staying stuck, man. I don't know. But I lost, uh, I lost a really nice fish that wasn't a snook. I'm not gonna touch you, buddy. There you go. Can't win them all, you know? Guys, thanks for tuning in. This is from a few weeks ago. It took me a long time to edit this, actually. Uh, that being said, I'm gonna try to stay uploading every week. Harder said than done. Easier said than done. Um, it's almost one o'clock in the morning. I'm dead tired. But until next week, catch you later. So catch fishing out.